State Minister for Women and Children Affairs, Fozla Tunnesa, India, urged the local and international community to give priority in creating business opportunities in developing countries like Bangladesh and job opportunities for the migrants who lost jobs during the COVID-19 pandemic. She made the urge while addressing a high-level virtual roundtable meeting organized by the UN Women and Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Denmark. Fuzilatun Nessa Indira said the Bangladesh government has announced 21 stimulus packages of 1 trillion taka for around 6 crore people so that they survive during the pandemic and recover the losses of the pandemic. She emphasized on ensuring equal access to universal, equitable, timely and affordable vaccine facilities. Nigerian Finance Minister Zainal S. Ahmed, Jamaican Finance Minister Nigel Clark, Egyptian Finance Minister Dr. Mehmet Maid, Deputy Managing Director of International Monetary Fund Tao Zain, Vice President of World Bank Mamta Murthy and Deputy Secretary General of the UN Amina Mohamed took part in the virtual roundtable meeting. Information Secretary Kajamia has stressed on showing respect to law in expressing one's opinion, despite freedom of expression being a fundamental right. Information Secretary was speaking at a views exchanging meeting as chief guest with the officials of the Press Secretary De Press Information Department in Dhaka today. Information Secretary said public relations officials have to earn capability for marching forward, keeping the pace with challenges of globalization. Kajami assured the public relations officers of the Information Ministry of providing all out support for performing their responsibility with optimum professionalism. Urging media personnel to present authentic information, the Information Secretary said the PID must achieve the capacity of preventing misleading rumors being spread through social media. Principal Information Officer Shrut Kumar Shalkar presided over the meeting, while additional Principal Information Officer Mohammad Shahi Nurmia also spoke. And now, news from sports. Bangladesh Army will organize Bangabundu Sheikh Mujib Dhaka Marathon 2021 on 10 January next year as part of the Mujib Borshu celebrations and to commemorate the homecoming day of the father of the nation. Keeping in mind the slogan, Digital Marathon in Digital Bangladesh in Mujib Borsha, people from all over the world can participate in the Digital Marathon by registering on the website. The event will be organized in collaboration with the National Implementation Committee of Father of the Nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, birth centenary celebration and under the overall coordination of the armed forces. The organizing committee of the event made the announcement at a Meet the Press event at Dhaka can Cantonment Multipurpose Complex today. The press meet was attended by Chief Coordinator of the National Implementation Committee, Dr. Kamal Abdul Nasser Chaudhry, President of the Marathon Organizing Committee and Chief of General Staff of Army, Lieutenant General Mohammed Shafiq Rahman, Chairman of Army Sports Control Board Brigadier General Mohammed Moinuddin, and Chief Coordinator of the Organizing Committee and Managing Director of Trust Innovation Limited, Brigadier General Selim Ahmed Khan. The organizing committee said although many marathons have been held in Bangladesh before, this is going to be an international standard marathon for the first time. Renowned local and foreign runners above 18 years will participate in the marathon. Bangabundu Sheikh Mujib Dhaka Marathon 2021 will be held in both men's and women's categories. The marathon will start from Army Stadium in the morning on 10 January next and will end in Hatijil area. Magura District clinched the minute. Kadiza scored the lone goal for the runners-up in Rangpo in the 14th minute. Rajshay City Mayor A.H.M. Khairi Zaman Liton witnessed the day's final as the chief guest and later he distributed the trophies. The captain of Magura team, Nobiron Khatun, was a just best player of the finals. Besides, Shubarna Khatun of Magura was adjusted as the best player. And now to end the 10 p.m. news, the headlines once again. Cabinet in principle approves
ड्राफ्ट ऑफ जातीय मुक्ति योद्धा काउंसिल बिल 2020 Continued under construction work of Bongobono sculptures to continue stern action to be taken if anyone vandalizes warns Abdul Qadir Fundamentalist evil forces under political patronage sometimes want to raise up hoods but they would not be allowed to do so says information minister Dr Hasan Mahmud Demonstrations human change and rallies continue across country protests in defamation of Bangabandhu sculpture with call to resist extremist communal groups High court orders to ensure protection of murals and sculptures of Bangabandhu across the country UK citizens to get corona vaccine shots from tomorrow worldwide death toll from corona crosses 15 lakhs and Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Dhaka Marathon to be held on January 10 the historic homecoming day of the father of the nation that was all from the newsroom at the moment thank you for staying with us and we invite you watch our 11:30 bangla news until then kadafis